1 a.m. mark thing. Let's do this. All right, so it is currently 1 a.m. in the morning. As you can probably tell by my eyes, they're very, very low. I don't know what I'm doing at this time. I should actually be in bed, but I had just finished recording an ASMR video, and I thought, you know what, screw man. Let's record a mukbang video. I was actually going to wake up and make this video at 5 a.m., but then I thought, you know what? I ain't going to sleep for four hours. Screw that. So, anyways, what do I have today? I got this brand new drink. I had just a taste of it. And it's kind of disgusting. It's got way too much fake sugar in it, unfortunately. But I don't... This is a Greek... This is a Greek, apparently. Greek-inspired food. I don't know what this is. It looks like a piece of brick. Uh, I got some vegetarian chicken strips. I mean, look at that shit. <laughs> that looks good, man. <laughs> and for your information, no, I am not high. I just get really strange around these times. So I got some American mad sauce. Let's do this. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. I know people that smoke weed, they often eat shit at the weirdest times. Um, for your information, I do not smoke anymore. I just thought, you know what, why not make it a 1 a.m. in the morning instead of 5 a.m.? It saves me like sleep hours, you know, because I need sleep as you've been seeing lately. I've been sleeping really bad because I've been uploading a lot, you know. Look at that. Now, this thing is honestly really good. Um, this is probably one of my favorite things on the whole menu here. And before y'all go away, man, y'all better go like this video right now. Because I'm doing this for you guys, man, at 1 a.m. in the morning. God damn, y'all better like this video. I want to see 500 likes within the first hour. Let's see if we can get there. I mean, look what's in it. It has like vegetables and everything in it. It's very healthy. It's one of the few things that I like when it comes to vegetarian uh, snacks. Even though it's not a snack, it's actually shit you're supposed to eat in the morning. Now, fun fact, this is actually McDonald's sauce. You cannot buy these anywhere except the Jumbo and at the Turkish shops, where I live at least. Crazy. It's the same. It's, it's literally McDonald's sauce. With some cheese in it. No, that's good. I'm living my best life. Copyrighted. <laughs> Virgin. <laughs> mm, there you go. I'm gonna get that. I swear to God, this camera man is gonna. It's gonna let me hurt somebody one day eventually. Piece of shit. Mm. No, but it's really good, man. I definitely recommend if you can get these in vegetarian um, forms, try them. Even if you're a meat eater. This, uh, they're not undercooked, by the way. I just don't like them too brown. Get too hard. God for dumme hoede camera, dat niet, man. Mm-mm-mm. Let me tell you something about this food, man. Food hits different when you record it at like weirdest times during the day. You know, you, you know when you have breakfast, you're like, man, this shit ain't hitting for me. And then you make food at like a late hour, and for some odd, 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 odd no reason, it it just feels so much better when you make it yourself at a, like a random ass time. Because I remember before my dog used to pass. Well, before I, you know, I had a Jack Russell before this. Um. Oh, fucking crazy, man. I, I, I think I made like, uh, as we would say in the Netherlands, frikandella, like English sausage rolls. I would make it at 4 a.m. For me, because I was watching a movie, you know. With me and my, my dog, Petchy. I remember, man, 4 a.m. in the morning. I was eating that sausage. I was like... 
this is hitting, man. Like, you know what? It doesn't make, it makes barely any sense what I'm saying. But if you know what I'm talking about, what it feels like eating food at a very strange time than usual, it just hits better, you know. It, the taste is much nicer. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me. I think we've all experienced that once in our life. If you're wondering what the ticking noise is, that's my AC going crazy. Because of the water pumping. It, it just rains, you know. This. Oh, and by the way. This is actually a... Um, what's this thing called? I got two eggs on top of it. Um, this one broke, unfortunately. I don't know what it's called. I forgot the name of the thing, but let me know in the comments. I don't know what it is. I forgot. It's called Gouda cheese, though. Yeah. Damn, this camera's bugging, man. It's on crack or something here. It hits different, I'm telling you. Food at this type of time, it hits different. Now, I would have loved to make a hamburger, you know? I would have loved making a hamburger this time, but... I didn't go to the store today because I was like, we have enough in there. And we just came back from doing the boat shop in there. And then um, this came with it. And wow. I mean, it's not bad. But the amount of fake sugar in it is, is really, it's terrible. Unfortunately. There's so much fake sugar in it. And that, I mean, look how red it is. Real natural strawberry watermelon does not look this red. Bullshit, man. I don't believe nothing what they say in the packaging. <laughs> it, it can't... It just can't be real. I do believe there are actually pieces of... I mean... Nah, I think it's bullshit. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's real at all. They claim it's real, but I don't believe it. <clears throat> Let's keep it auto-focused. Why not? It doesn't matter. Take a bite. I swear to God, it's good. Now this unfortunately I have to I can't use my hands because I got an egg that's like thick sitting under there. Check this out. Oh god for the camera jongen. Jesus man. Ook the beetje nou ziek van hoor, klote ding gaan naar werken. Oh yeah. Oh, it's hard. Oh no, I didn't. I don't think I cooked them right. Shit, it's undercooked. <laughs> it's undercooked. Oh no. Oh no, I screwed it up. I think it's undercooked. Oh no, these are. Oh no, these aren't. The, no, this isn't the cheese. It's tom tomato mozzarella. That's good. I just thought it wasn't good because the, the you know, like the gouda cheese is much um, softer. I'm telling you, man. Some, some, sometimes on a day I have like two of these things and I have like four or six eggs on top of it stacked, st stacked up, you know. That's good. Now look, I'm not going to do this every time, man. This is once in a lifetime. Um, I kind of wish it was raining now because I know last year when I made this, um, I made a 5 a.m. mock bang. It was 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, there was it was raining. And somebody says the rain complements the video. Something was something with compliment. Yeah, it was something it was a compliment. But um, yeah, it was raining today, like quite a while, quite 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 hard, you know. But uh, I had to go. On, the, on my e-step again, because I wanted to, you know. Yeah, it got me dancing, the food is so good, you know. 
I'm telling you, man. Tried one side in your life. If you've never ate food at like 2 or 4 a.m. in the morning, and you know, it's kind of like a midnight snack. It's basically, it's this is technically a midnight snack. Mm, even though it's a massive midnight snack, this probably took me like a minute to prepare. Get them out of the packages in there. I just put them, I just put them in one like massive ass pan. Instead of putting them in individual ones. Otherwise I have to keep more pens, you know. Um, but I'm telling you man, try this out man in the morning. Like 1 or 2 a.m. When you can't sleep or you're deciding, you know, let's uh, game with the boys, you know, Friday night, game game time with the boys. Fuck it, just try it out, I recommend it. Nah, I must admit, like I've said before, I know I say this often, but vegetarian and vegan food has increased so well throughout the years, it's fucking delicious, dude. I know I, I, know I tried it like years ago, it was disgusting. It was really nasty. The taste was horrible. It looked really depressed. It did not look attractive to a customer whatsoever, you know. Mm. But don't fool yourself. There are also a lot of vegetarian... Well, there are a couple of vegetarian products that I don't like. Um, for like, for example, the vegan or vegetarian uh, bacon pieces. I don't like it. The texture is too hard. I don't know, it's something with the texture of the, of the vegetarian food. Some pieces that just aren't good. Like I'm, then I'm thinking, yo, so wait, you're charging me three, you're charging me three bucks for food that tastes like shit, like literally shit. But one thing I'm, I do like, which is one of my favorite chicken ones, is the, um, I think it's, it's called like meat or something. It's vegan chicken. It is not cheap. It's four dollars. It's four dollars for a package. But it tastes actually like chicken. <laughs> it tastes like chicken. It comes really close to tasting like real chicken, you know. So I like to have that. Even though people are asking me still to this day, but wait, how are you eating? How how come you're vegan yet you're eating cheese or, or eggs? I, I never said I was vegan. I said I eat a lot of vegan food as well. You've got to you got to remember, realize a lot of veg a lot of vegetarian food is also um, suitable for vegans. So that means that a lot of vegetarian food that I eat, vegan burgers that I eat, don't contain milk, cheese, or eggs. Nothing from an animal. It's plant-based. It's really crazy how, can, how they can make this from plant. The vegan stuff especially, that's creepy as heck. How they make it from water and plants. Don't ask me how they make it, but they, they make it for some other reason. It takes years to make shit like that, man. Mm-mm. Yeah. Now I was also having some conversations with people in my DM, in my DM or something, telling me that. Excuse me, sorry. Mm, telling me that they actually are vegan because they have no choice. So I was wondering, how do you mean? What do you mean you're vegan because you have no choice? Apparently, some people are actually allergic to milk, cheese, and eggs. Fuck, I didn't even know there was an actual thing, allergy for milk. Um, some people are also allergic for meat, which, from my perspective, be glad you are, because I smelled meat for the first time last year, last week in like six months. No joke, all jokes beside, I almost puked, just because of the smell. It was disgusting, man. The thing is, your body adapts to the food you eat and the venture point. If you, if you only eat meat... For you, meat smells divine, delicious, it doesn't smell bad for you. But if you eat vegetarian for six months, and for the first time in six months you smell meat, you're going to almost throw up, or maybe you will even throw up, because of the smell, it's so disgusting, dude. I'm not exaggerating at all. For all my vegetarians out there, vegans, they know what it feels and smells like smelling meat after so many months or years of not smelling and consuming. It's, 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 it's disgusting. It's really strange to explain, but it's... It's fucking disgusting. Let me just see it like that. It's the, you know. Wow, I'm almost done, man. Fifteen minutes. Oh no. Thirteen. 
Let me finish this a bit, sorry. I'm, I know I'm a bit slow. Mm, I'm done, man. Yeah, all jokes aside, guys, I really hope you enjoy this mukbang. I definitely leave me a like, man. Damn, 1 a.m. in the morning. I know it's a choice I make. I ain't got nothing else, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Mm. Tomorrow I have an ASMR video game store roleplay. I love the ASMR S. Stay tuned for that. So I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video. And uh, see you on the next mukbang, man. See you guys Wednesday with a new mukbang. Peace out, man. Hey, see you later, man.